afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar on Dropship Advanced, the latest in Window Book's new educational webinar series. My name is Monica Lundquist, and I'm Postal Affairs Manager here at Window Book. Assisting me today is Mary Bush, Manager of Client Resources. The agenda for today's webinar is to explore more advanced dropshipping topics than are covered in our basics webinar. We will review the costs associated with dropshipping and show you how to build a freight table in that mail. We will discuss the sources of the postage savings of dropshipping and the calculations for determining the net savings. We will also discuss dropshipping to improve delivery or to control in-home date delivery. We will cover Priority Mail Open and Distribute, or PMOD, which is a great option for small dropship volumes or problem delivery areas. We will also provide an overview of co-services, which are used in conjunction with dropshipping to generate deeper postage discounts on selected mailings. We will also discuss making an appointments for delivery of drop shipments and the Facility Access and Shipment Tracking System, or FAST. At that point, I will be turning over the presentation to Mary Bush, Window Books Manager of Client Resources, and she'll be giving us a live demonstration of DATMAIL Toolbox, which includes many advanced dropshipping functions. And lastly, we will open up the floor to questions from the audience. Keep in mind we will just be touching briefly on PMOD and FAST as we have separate webinars on both of these topics coming up in the near future. Just to quickly review from the basics webinar, dropshipping bypasses a number of postal transportation and processing steps. Mail is typically dropshipped to one of the following types of postal facilities. A network distribution center, or NDC. These are formally known as bulk mail centers. Auxiliary service facility, or ASF. Sectional center facility, or SCF. Area distribution center, or ADC and Destination Delivery Union, or DDU. Bypassing these steps saves money for the Postal Service, which they share with mailers in the form of dropship and zone skipping discounts. Mailers may transport the mail themselves or may contract with third-party consolidators or logistics providers to transport the mail. There are costs associated with dropshipping, which must be taken into account when analyzing mailings for dropship potential. If you are using a, con excuse me, a consolidation service, there is the cost of transporting the mail from the printing plant or letter shop to the logistics provider consolidation center. These are also known as inbound truck charges. Consolidation services are used by many mailers who do not have sufficient volume on their own to fill trucks to destination postal facilities. By combining the mail volume from numerous printers and letter shops, consolidators can optimize the filling of truckloads to these destinations, thereby keeping the costs down and spreading those costs among multiple printers and letter shops. Then there is the cost of transporting the mail to the destination postal facilities, such as an NDC or SCF, either from the origin plant or from the consolidation center if it's used. There may be accessorial charges from the transportation provider. This is especially true if you are shipping to DDU facilities. These are often smaller post offices, which may not have a dock door or a pallet jack. This may require a lift gate on the truck or a pallet jack to be transported along with the mail. DDU shipments also require the driver to assist with unloading the mail, which may be an additional charge. There may also be additional charges for smaller trucks if the destination postal facilities cannot accommodate larger semi-trucks. And as fuel prices have risen in recent years, most transportation companies now accept, assess a fuel surcharge rather than trying to build in the fluctuating fuel costs into their base rates. This charge is typically a percentage of the freight charges. Most transporters adjust this rate as the cost of diesel fuel rises and falls. And there also may be administrative fees put in place by printers, letter shops, and consolidators to cover the cost of special software, material handling, appointment coordination, paperwork, and so forth. All of these elements must be considered during dropship analysis to make sure a true picture of savings and costs is presented. So where exactly do the dropship postage savings come from? Well, this depends on the class of mail. For periodicals and package services mail, a portion of the postage is based on zones, or the distance of the destination from the origin or entry point. The higher the zone, the further the distance, 